Breakfast of Champions Diesel. Wiener, on the gone. Chevy. Commander. So I have made more progress today. We were about up to eh, probably about here. Last I showed you. Now I've got all the way up to here. It is time consuming. I'm not sure if I've shown you this close up already, but they they screwed the screws in very deep. And then what they did was they filled it with drywall putty to level it off before they painted this deck over on it. So I've got to go here, find all the screws, dig them out first, and then unscrew them and do that on each part of the frame there. And we're slowly getting to the end over here. And there's our big pile that we're working with. But it's a long process. I got one piece of treated lumber in there at least, but I'm going to be rebuilding most of this. We'll see what happens. That's been my day off today. And you bet I'm in sandals. I know. You should be wearing steel tires, trucker driver. I know. Oh, I hear you. I know. I mean this in the most loving positive way possible when I say I don't care it's hot really hot that ball of fire up there hiding behind the tree right now knows I'm talking about it come here show yourself that ball of fire right there there she is she's lighting everything up out here today and we're not even as hot as uh, British Columbia right now out west Today was a, oh, we're around about 30 degrees Celsius, probably about 85 Fahrenheit, somewhere in there. Maybe up to 90, I'm not sure, maybe 90 Fahrenheit. Out west, in British Columbia right now, the temperature's almost got up to 50 degrees Celsius, close to 120 Fahrenheit. That's hot. But, looks like the sunlight really did these good. Look at this, look how big they're getting. Don't they look nice? Britt did an amazing... She's doing an amazing job on these things. We're almost there, eh? We just got a few more boards to lift up yet. Just a few more. And I sort of got to rebuild this frame just a little bit. We can reuse a lot of the lumber, but not all of it. So not much to uh, report today other than thank God for air conditioning. And the deck, we made progress. I didn't work the whole day on it. I relaxed most of the day, but we put in a few hours at least. Oh, the neighbors got their lawn looking really nice. It got greener, didn't it? I noticed they put their sprinkler back here a couple of days ago. Uh -huh, I see how it is, I see how it is. I see. All right. Challenge accepted. Commander! How goes it this Saturday? You don't know? Yeah, me neither. Hey, Chev. Been a bit of a rough few days for us here, but making it through one one day at a time. Uh, this deck over stuff that used to get, used to be really popular for people to put on the decks, it, it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. This is what happens, it just peels off, right? And this whole deck was like that and it was starting to rock because it was all untreated lumber and the way they had built this here the lumber was sitting across on here and resting on there inside there with this plate over the front and that would cause the water to be able to get in here and sit just sit right in here and there's untreated lumber and it would get right in there and just rotted it all out eh so i'm gonna re replace this beam here uh this one might actually be good. I might keep this one. Majority of them I think I'm going to keep. I've got to take this whole front plate out, off of here and build a new one so that the lumber's hanging over and the water can't get stuck in there. One piece at a time. One day at a time. Anyone want to come outside? We've got a weasel. We've got a Chevy. We've got a wiener. Do we have a commander? Hey, commander, Frank. 
There he is. Come on. Get a little bit of sun. Not too much, okay? We can't stay out here for too long. It's really hot out here. I brought all of Britt's plants back here now. They were out in the front yard and it's so windy today that uh, they're getting blown all over the place. I didn't want them to get wind damage. I'm pretty sure they already have. You can sort of see where the wind hit them on this side. Uh, Britt's not going to like that. But hopefully she likes it that I tried my best to save them and brought, brought them back here. So, anyway. That ball of fire is just as hot on this side of the border as it was on the other side of the border yesterday. It's just hot. I'm not complaining. I love it. Look at me. You remember when this backyard was like all covered in snow and ice? Not too long ago. And we couldn't stand out here for more than like five seconds? It's crazy the difference in temperatures, eh? Diesel, how you doing? I'm doing okay, man. Hey, you're being a rough couple of days. I'm, I'm okay, man. Can you sit? This guy here is my uh, stress reliever. All you gotta do, the way it works, is he comes up to you like this and you put your head on his head like this works best if you take your hat off. See, and all that negative energy and all that stress, it goes into him. And he sucks it all up. And then you let him out here and he poops it out. That's how that works. <laughs> Uh, I mean, these are the show works. So as of filming this, uh, my mom is still in the hospital. Uh, I talked about it a little bit in a video I released to you guys a few days ago. And these videos are a little bit behind, but as I'm filming this, it uh, uh, she's still there in, a, in very serious condition. We're very worried. Chevy. Hey, does it work with you too? Are you you got some stress relief capabilities? Hey, come here, Chevy. Come here. I'm pretty sure you you have this ability too, right? Can you come here? Can you come here? I could use your services, please. Can you sit, Chev? Can you sit? This is serious business, man. Serious business. Okay. Can you take my hat off? Stay. Okay. Put your head on their head. Does it work? Does it work? Chevy, why are you pulling away from me? <laughs> this is your job, man. <laughs> Not quite the same as Diesel, but he does the same thing in his own way. I got some messages I gotta get to. And then we gotta start working on the deck and see if we can make some progress. The neighbor's yard is looking fantastic. I like the way they put up that little, uh, they got this little, like, tiny little fence at the backyard there. I like that. Makes it look very complete. It's very nice. They did a good job. Right now, I think our lawns are pretty much on par with each other. This is lawn there. Except, uh, okay, that's a lie. <laughs> Their lawn is healthier than ours. <laughs> look at that. But that's because that was a flower bed back there. It still hasn't been reseeded. And around this tree here, uh, it hasn't grown very well. And we have a lot more, more weeds in here. The turf war continues. So far, they're ahead right now. They may win this battle, but it doesn't mean they win the war. Oh, oh, oh. Brain burgers. So once again, I come to you and Brit is at work and I have to fend for myself. Brain burgers it is. Hey, I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm not eating KD. Craft dinner. Macaroni and cheese. Uh-uh. I'm gonna cook myself up a burger. Aren't you proud of me, Diesel? Not like it's that special or hard to do, man. It's just your burger. Speaking of burgers, we so like burgers. It's my burger. It's my brain burger. I call it that, obviously. Because it looks like a brain. My nephews on my, my wife's side, they call it worm burgers, I think. They look like little worms. I guess that's kind of a little better than calling it brain burgers. <laughs> oh, this bad boy out here. Come to life for me. Speak to me. Don't worry, I won't get too close to you, ladies. Don't worry, don't want to burn you. Maybe, uh, 
Move this over a little bit further. Is that better? Always looking out for the ladies. How clean is it? This is, needs a cleaning again. But just for a burger for myself, I'll give it a pass. Let's start her up. I just need half of it on. Going or they going? Okay. I only really need the one on, actually. You know what? Yeah, I can turn this one off. Let's just have the middle one going. Just making one burger for myself. Two the middle right there. <clears throat> so after I dig these screws out, I have to get that drywall dust out of there as well. So these two are doing pretty good, but see how they're all covered up there? It's a real big pain in the butt. But we're getting her done. Slowly, one little thing at a time. And then here I've got to uh, figure out where where they are. I think there's one here. Just gotta dig it up a little bit. Find out where the screw is. Sometimes it works better if I uh, use a hammer on it. Let's see. Not sure if you guys can see right there. I can feel it there already. Got to get the wood off on top of it. Ah, come on. That's frustrating. It's getting pretty windy out today. It's always windy. Ah, you see? I didn't know there was a knot there. It was right beside the knot. See, there's the screw. Deep in there. Can you see it? Then I've got to get all that drywall dust out of it so I can grab it with the bit. Yep, whoever built this, uh, and they had a very unique way of uh, building decks. There's the next one, you see? I got lucky with that one. <laughs> so now I was looking all over here, having to be over here. That's what I got on the first try. And I use this one to drill out the powder, the hardened powder and stuff in this one. See, and then I can get at that. I've got to use a lot of pressure, my whole, almost my whole body weight. That's why this part is taking so long. But once I get this done, I can quickly rebuild the frame and boom, 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 slap the new boards on, that part should go a lot faster. So I'm not gonna do this nonsense, <laughs> putting this drywall clay in there. And then painting it with this stuff, that's a mistake. Don't do this to your deck. Don't paint it with deck over. Eh, this is how it ends up. A big pain for everybody. I saw you moving there. There's a great many critters under here that I am upsetting very much. I just destroyed a little spider nest. Mama was very, very, uh, not happy. We don't have very big spiders here. This spider was probably just like, like this big. And they're not poisonous or anything. They don't bite. Well, they might bite, I don't know, but they're not gonna do anything. This, this isn't Australia. Thank God. If this was Australia, there's no way I'd be sitting here like this. There's no way. Nope. I'd hire someone. <laughs> Hey everybody, we're getting our camper back today. We're all the way out here in Morden. That's uh, west of Winkler, about an hour and 45 minutes, two hour drive from where we are. Uh, we had mice get into our camper last winter and so we had to make an insurance claim on it. And the best place to bring it for insurance claims from what we've heard is out here at Move It RV. And we get to pick it up today. And I don't have to clean it. And it's 
Totally cleaned. Best part. So when, when you get mice in there, uh, it can be very toxic. So it's a good idea to have it professionally cleaned and good thing we had insurance on it. They were able to take care of that for us. So we're about to uh, get the keys here and go take a look at their work. And then if we're satisfied, we transfer them the deductible, which was $100 for our insurance. And uh, that's it. We can hook up and bring her back home. Skedaddle. And skedaddle. Skedaddle. I love that word. So this RV place is uh, located on the farm. Uh, a little west of Morden yet. Looks like they have another camper over there they're cleaning. Ours is looking... Oh, he didn't wash the outside, but it looked like it. Go and take a look. Looks like we got a low tire, maybe. Uh oh. I have a portable air filler upper that we could use, probably. Air filler upper? Yeah. We had one of the tires had a leaky valve stem, and he changed the tire for us. This is the one here. Yeah, we're gonna have to get this tire replaced to bring that in. But, all right, let's go take a look. Can we trade? Yeah, let's just take that one instead. Yeah. <laughs> you think I'd notice? We could probably fit this one inside of that one. And we can take them both. We could take them both. Ah. Yeah. Someone else had mice, I guess. Okay. Well, let's... Let's sh shack it out. Shack it out. Let's take the steps out of here. Oh, all of our stuff has been bagged. Nice. Fancy. She got it. After you, my lady. Sorry. Exactly. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, that shock does need to be replaced on there. Let's oh, take it a look. So clean. They replaced the skylight up here for us because ours was broken. I hate that it's there because it's right over our bed. Yeah. But uh, I'll have to go back there and check. Uh, the mice had gotten underneath our sink and our bathroom sink and into that closet, so I'll have to find a way back there. Alright, so the bathroom's looking good. So we had mice under here. Take a look at them. Oh, apparently they're locking us in. Okay. Looks all nice and clean in there. Check the back. All cleaned out. Yeah. They were going to, uh, take everything apart as well and underneath the camper remove everything to see if there's any more damage that uh, the adjuster didn't see I can't get into there right now I'm just gonna have to check it once we get there or we can pull the slide out once we get hooked up and check it but it looks good I mean, looks very good smells clean in here Time to pull it back. So the mice had also gotten in to this compartment back here. I'm just going to give this a quick check. Let's see how this is doing. Uh -huh. Oh, and it's been sealed up for us. Nice. The mice had gotten in here and then went underneath the sink through there. So I mean, they could probably still chew through this, but at least it's sealed now. Yeah. I sealed that there too. Good, good, good. Water filter is there. Still got, uh, it's still winterized. That's why it's pink. Okay, well, all looks good. Good thing I've got a little portable pump to uh, pump up that tire. I can just plug it into the cigarette lighter of the pickup. We'll get that all filled up and we'll hook up and go. Back home where she belongs. Look how much these bushes that we cut down have grown already, huh? Remember I came here and I cut them all down again once? Man, stuff just grows way too fast. We gotta stay on top of this. Well, got the wife in there. She's probably wondering what's taking me so long. We're gonna head home. Mom is still sick in the hospital today, so uh, still very, very worried. She's very, very sick. So I may stay home tomorrow as my mind is 
we did this today. Well, for one, we needed to pick it up. Second of all, I needed something to take my mind off things. But, you know, I'm going to go home and see how we feel. Depends on what news we get tonight from the doctors. There she is. There I am. The woman of the hour. And the day. And the day. And the week and the month. Woman of the day, but the not, the, not the woman of the night. Definitely not. I thought you were going to go there. I was like, no, 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 you're not. <laughs> Sometimes we don't know what we're saying until it comes out and we're like, wait. Josh got a lot of sun today. I did. And my brain, I was just telling him my mind hasn't all, hasn't been all present. Not at all. Just trying to do mundane tasks like bring this from there to here. And, and it took all day. And it took all day. Yeah, all day. So I'm going to take this lovely lady of mine home. And we're gonna feed our dogs and feed ourselves. I guess. Right. Neither one of us really has an appetite, but we should probably we still hungry. be eating. Yeah. We'll figure it out then. We'll go home. Commander. Wow. Nothing scares that guy. I thought for sure we would sneak up on him now. Heard us coming a mile away. He's got those military ears. He can hear everything. He can hear the enemy approaching from five miles away. And he can smell them from further. <laughs> he likes to sit here in the sun, actually. The sun has moved on you, hasn't it? You just stay, buddy. You just stay. I'm just gonna make you... There you go. There you go. Thank you. You can repay me later. Anyways, uh, today, uh, this weekend, anyways, was a bit of a blur for me. As I, I told you before, uh, uh, mom is in a uh, pretty serious condition in the hospital. And, uh, I'm filming this last end clip a little bit in the future, and we do have good news that she's been improving, so that's really good. We, we appreciate all the prayers you guys have sent and uh, the positive thoughts, positive comments. Uh, things have been uh, things have been getting better, so that's good. It's good. Just this weekend, it's just been my brain was just spinning. I, I tried to uh, get a little bit further on the deck, and uh, well, we got pretty far. I mean. I'll talk about it more in the future yet, but it's a project for next weekend. So thanks for watching today, everybody. It was Saturday and Sunday combined, uh, so there will, there will only be one video this weekend, and then we'll start up again, uh, I think on Tuesday, because uh, I took Monday off from work. So uh, it's just a little bit of a, a mental day to just let my body rest, because I've been exhausted and it's been hard to sleep. So uh, there will be a vlog coming in the next few days, uh, and we'll get back on schedule. Thank you so much for all of your support. Thanks for hanging out with me here again through this chaotic weekend, sort of just all over the place. And we'll get back to trucking before you know it. We'll talk to you guys later.